don't do a 10 piece capsule wardrobe if you're over 50. We don't on this channel. We have a different methodology of how to put clothes and items together for the seasons and the months. But the reason once we get to 50 or mid 40s, we've got a whole collection of clothes, a whole collection. We generally haven't thrown many of them out. We may have them from five years ago, six years ago, 10 years ago, and they're still going strong. And they still might even look current. They may be classics. Why would we limit ourselves to a 10 piece capsule? Let's use our clothes. And that's what we do on this channel. So every month we rotate our clothes and uh, it's a way of filtering as well and saying, is this still working in my wardrobe? If not, get rid of it. If so, keep it and wear it. So, so what are we putting together for October? I have decided to make my capsule mostly neutrals this time and with a speckling of green and one random item as well. So neutrals, I kind of feel like uh, many of the neutrals go well with autumn. So I'm putting together some jumpers as a start and the colors that I'm looking at are black and beige, gray, camel. And I'm just gonna show you some examples. Do not go and get exactly the same thing. I'm saying get a notepad pad and pencil or pen and make just make notes then go and have a look and see what you've got that might be similar and put it together to wear in October. My examples would be this poncho I'm wearing for instance this is in a tan colour and I'm wearing it over a striped shirt just one example so when I'm saying sweaters and jumpers and you know in in um, these type of autumn, autumnal neutral colours be a bit broad about your thinking. So an example I've got is a rust striped three-quarter sleeve Jumper, you're not going to have exactly the same thing. However, I will tell you, make a note of this. I got this from QVC and I believe similar is still available and it's a the Marla Wynn brand. So you might want to look that up. There are a few things on QVC I do actually like. <laughs> oh dear, I do have a bit of a thing about QVC, I have to say. Some good, some bad. Black, just a black sweater. Now you could have a black cardigan, you could be using a black vest top, you could use a black poncho, a black shawl. But black is one of the themes. Beigey, mocha type colours. Polar neck in this example here. I've got another brown jumper that this is good for going out where you might be somewhere chilly but you actually want to look a little bit smart. And this one's got a cutaway. Now we could look for cutaway in any of these neutral colours, not just in this sort of camel brown. Mine happen, mine happen obviously to be because I've got it here. A camel one. But an example, so I'll try and find some down below for you. You won't find exactly the same items because my wardrobe is a few years old and what I'll do is find you something similar. Just another example of a striped black and white jumper. This I got from Amazon and um, if I can find it, I'll link it for you. Then a navy and white striped, don't be put off with stripes. So, you know, if, you, you, if you're using something bulky and you can do a bit of a front tuck, you can actually hide your stomach both with a front tuck and with stripes. So, you know, think about Bretons and stripes or nautical tops are very popular and very classy. So let's um, not limit ourselves and think horizontal stripes, no, we can't wear those. You know, there are ways to wear it. And I actually talk about that more in another video, which I'll link here for you. Uh, cardigans, let's think about cardigans as well. So just an example, I actually bought this um, second hand recently. So, but it's got a new label on it still. I'm looking forward to wearing that, just a short waist length cardigan in the colors that I'm describing. And a vest, as I, I said, a sweater vest I bought last year. A few of you have asked me about this. I'll try to find similar for you for this year, but a sweater vest in any of these colors as well, because you can wear these over um, striped shirts. You can wear it over a t-shirt. You could wear it without anything underneath it and just wear it under a jacket. And that I think is very, um, wearing one just under a jacket, you don't overheat so much because your arms are actually naked under the jacket, you know? Um, and then I'm adding green in. So I've got a, a moss green cardigan that I bought from Marks and Spencer's last year. I do think similar I have found for you and I will um, link down below. Also I've got jumper in this type of color as well. But another color that is popular this year, so I did say I was gonna speckle green through, is this sort of green that was very popular last winter and popular again this winter. So I'll try and find items in that green for you as well. And when I say don't do a 10 piece or a 15 piece capsule wardrobe if you're over 50, if it is your jam, and generally the people on this channel, it's not because I have done it before and I can link it here if that is what you're interested in. But generally uh, it didn't, wasn't particularly popular with me and it wasn't particularly popular with you guys. But uh, 
it's there if you need it. Moving on to t-shirts, long sleeve t-shirts, short sleeve t-shirts that we can wear underneath the layering items, underneath the cardigans and the sweater vests and so on and jackets. Um, I'm sticking with the same colour themes apart from one. So I've got here a selection just to give you an idea of um, t-shirts in grey for instance. Where's grey? Grey, white, equally it could be beige, it could be tan, it could be green. I've got a green one here too. Green short sleeved t-shirts would look great under the cardigans and sweaters that we're, you know, we're pulling together and same colour theme. Then uh, long sleeve, I've got a very old but lovely oversized striped linen-y cotton blouse that I got from Sainsbury's got years ago, years ago. Um, but just love it. It will look, actually I think it will look really great under the beige coloured sweater vest for instance. It'll look good under the cardigans. It will go with green as well, green cardigans. So um, there's that. There's also them on long sleeved tops, just a plain ivory I'm using. And I wore this in September. Um, this is a autumnal coloured top I bought last year from Marks and Spencers and I think some of you also bought it. They did bring it out again in the spring in spring colours which means that it's probably a, a pattern and shape that is popular with Marks and Spencers. So they may bring it out again in some different colours. If so, like everything else, if I can find similar items, I'll link them down below for you so you can you know, build up your collection of clothes that will last you a while because these are pretty classic. Again, classic, talking about classic. Your, vertical, your horizontal stripes again. That's black and ivory. Then I've got burgundy. This is a burgundy waffle knit that I got from Amazon last year, burgundy is rust colour. Um, I don't have rusty burgundy sweaters, but when you are putting your jumpers together, think of that colour as well, because that is autumnal and in, the, in my collection of clothes, but it's in the form of that waffle knit um, top, long sleeve top. My outlying item and colour is yellow, because this is a yellow linen t-shirt, which is too hot for when it was really hot in August. And I didn't get around to wearing it in September just because of the activities we were doing. Um, but the weather could well be appropriate for this sort of quite warm t-shirt in yellow in October. And I want to give it a go and wear it if I can, if the weather's right. So that's coming out. Then blouses. Then I put some blouses aside to where if I'm going to go out to a bar, to a meal, to a restaurant and so on. And I've chosen some autumnal coloured blouses, of course. So what I have got is navy. I don't think navy's autumnal. I can get away with that. Navy, it's a neutral um, navy with a bit of design on it. Long sleeves. Then autumnal colours. I have that as an example for you, which is two years old. So you won't get it now. Again, there's this one, which is... You won't get exactly the same thing again because yeah I said my clothes are old but I will find similar I will find similar um, and a rust colored blouse they're my examples you on your notepad go and pull up you know write down that you'll get out some blouses in autumnal shades of rust beige navy green black maybe for okay, instance, this is another blouse I have just found actually with navy and green on it. So it's a bit of an abstract design, a bit 1970s actually, geometric type design. But, um, you know, that type of thing too. So just sort of stretch your imagination, just base it around the colours I'm suggesting uh, for autumn to use your existing wardrobe as much as you can. Oh no, the washing. You noticed it was actually getting darker during the video. I'm not sure if that's actually come out, but yeah, it just started, started a bucket down. So that's done, I've got the washing in. I'm determined to use the washing line as much as possible still with energy prices the way, the way they are. But I think I'm gonna be putting it all on the clothes rail in the kitchen, hanging it up in the kitchen. Still, let's get on with this. Bottom part, bottom part. I um, am going to be wearing dark indigo jeans, away are going to go with the light wash jeans, away are going the white, white jeans as well. So replacing with denim, dark denim, and also with black. And my favourite dark denim jeans are and or jeans, which I will uh, link down for you. I've got several pairs of, of those. Black jeans, you know what they look like. I haven't got those. I'm still a bit puffed out and running and trying to get the shop washing in, which is still soaked, by the way. So hanging on the line really did no good whatsoever because it just hasn't dried out whatsoever yet. Oh, domesticity. You wanted a bit more waffle and you wanted to know what I wear for doing domestic eyed things. Well, this is partly it. This is partly it. Right. In the spring, I bought some camo trousers. Perfect for this time of year. 
da 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 they're slight jogger these are from hush actually jogger style which are still popular people are wearing joggers and jogger style trousers but less less so of the sort of comfy slouching around the house joggers but more you, know, you can wear these with some moto boots or you can wear them with white trainers that kind of thing so you might have some camo or you just might have green or or you might have green pleather or green leather i have got some green pleather so they're a few years old um, but similar is available i will get them for you obviously open up down below and then um i've just bought myself i haven't tried them on yet these are some black leather ones because last year i bought black leather but they were more of a jogger style i will wear them uh, I don't think you guys were so keen. I think some of you loved them on me. Some of you didn't. It didn't really suit your aesthetic. So I thought some straight ones maybe would do. So I've got straight as well as the uh, jogger style. If I find I don't wear the jogger style, don't like them this year, I will just have to uh, donate them or keep them for another year, maybe. Uh, we'll see how we go. That's the idea, isn't it, of sifting through. And when I bought them, I had intended they would be for quite a while, not just for a year or two, but we'll see. What else have we got in the way of trousers? I've also got some green dungarees as well. I did do a video where I talked about dungarees um, and actually I found that quite a lot of you also like uh, dungarees. And I think in the States you call them jumpers. I've also got some navy wide leg trousers that I used to wear to work and these would be suitable for the um, collection of clothes I'm putting together for the weight, colour and style as well. So that is that. Now, layering items. For layering items, there's actually quite a lot here. Probably don't need to show you at all, but still. Anyway, we're basically going for, there's a denim jacket, which I haven't got out, but there's also a denim shirt that would be useful, as well as a denim jacket. Um, camo jacket, perfect time of year for camo. If you have got a camo jacket, army jacket, that, um, that type of thing, get it out and wear it now. It could be just plain. It could be a plain olive jacket. It doesn't have to be, you know, with a camouflage on it. It could be just a plain, plain khaki, plain olive. Just reminding you, you might have it. It's a bit chaotic here this morning, isn't it? I thought I'd introduce chaos into my videos. I thought you might like a bit of chaos. Um, this is a very long, um, sort of duster length, sleeveless vest, actually, um, that I used to wear to work. I thought, well, give it a go at home, see what happens. It's the right colour, it's autumnal. Ah, uh, burgundy blazer that I used to wear to work. We've got a sort of cotigan in a, a sort of a grey, grey green colour. I'm not saying you'll have these items, but you know, you may have some. There may be different colours and similar shape, similar style, but different colour. But you, you got the idea of the colours we're going for and the weight we're going for and the shapes and styles we're going for in September. In October even to use our existing wardrobe as much as possible. And this is why we do not do a 10 piece capsule wardrobe because why would we? We've got all of this that we've accumulated over the years. I've got another jacket I accumulated over the years in tan. Perfect for the time of year. This is uh, leather. You may have pleather ones, you know, brown moto. You may have a um, gilet vest that's quilted in autumnal colors. Perfect to get out and use. Suede in an autumnal color. A suede safari jacket. Shacket. I've got brown shacket here. Now shacket is a cross between a jacket and a shirt. So it's a shirt style with a collar here and buttons down, but it's jacket type weight. That's what a shacket is. So oversized they come generally and they're just great over a t-shirt, great over a long sleeve t-shirt, great over jeans. So, you know, it's time of year for that as well as a layering item. And then I've got one in corduroy. I'm not saying I'll wear all of this. I just want it out available for me to choose from during the month so as i'm not too confused when i'm getting dressed and i'm not sort of wading through stuff that'll be more appropriate for summer or even spring or winter even so um using this right there is an autumnal shade raincoat trench coat here but it's got this um lovely gingham style tweedy design on it but it's actually quite thin so i would need to layer up quite a bit underneath it but it's the right colours for the time of year, so I want to give that one a go as well. I think it'd be good with over a, um, you know, a polo and stick jumper or a polo neck jumper maybe, or on a hot day. If we get a hot day in October, I'm not sure if we will. We'll see. Anyway, you can see why, as I said, you can see why we, at our age, when we have a pile of clothes in the house, you know, 10 piece capsule wardrobe, it just wastes it, it wastes it, ladies. 
Now, um, I'm going to link here a video of what I wore last October, if you want some ideas of outfits. And also I'm going to link a video that you also may be interested in that I referred to as well here. And I will see you all in an outfit.